welcome back everybody. Today I'm gonna do from a, from a fresh um, how to uh, create a dedicated server for a set of Corsa and I'm gonna go step by step on the port forwarding so there are no mistakes. The first thing I'm gonna do is open my router and address bar if I can remember the uh, codes. So there we go. I'm gonna put in the passwords and so on. I'm a slow typer, just bear with me. So there we go, we're going to go to advanced, accept. Now we're going to go to NAT settings, uh, port forwarding. Now the first thing I'm going to do, see all this junk here, I'm just going to, that's Steam, so don't need that, don't need to worry about that. Right, the first thing you need to do is know your IP address. So we're going to go to uh, Katana here, type it, I'm not going to ask it to open it, CMD. We're going to open that up. And here we're going to type in ipconfig. So ipconfig, press enter. And you see here where it says ipv4 address. That is your IP address. The 192.168.1.204. Obviously yours is going to be different. For me, mine is predefined. So all I need to do is remember the last three, which is 204. So now we're going to open Steam which is already open somewhere. We're going to right click on a set of course, go to properties, local files, browse local files. And we're going to hit the server and we've got the server manager. So we're going to put that on the taskbar. And then we've got the AC server dot X, which is also going on the taskbar. Where is it? Come on. Just make sure that that is the AC server dot X. Yeah, it is. See, so make sure that you run that first, like I'm doing, so that you get the option to let it through the firewall. Okay, this is very important. So now that's done. Obviously, it's going to fail because we haven't set it up. But the important thing is, I've run it, accepted it in the firewall. Now we're going to open up the launcher. Oops, which is changed again. Cool. So we're just going to name it. Uh, just call it BRT Cobra. This one. Uh, password new, can't be bothered with that. Pickup mode, race over time 60 seconds. I'm just going to leave all the settings because these aren't the issue right now. What the issue is, what most of you are having, are port forwarding and so on. So we're going to just have a look into this now. It says UDP port 9600. So we're going to stick in the last three digits of our IP. Uh, we're going to do the UDP 9600. Now I'm going to copy that. If yours is like mine, you're good to go. You can't fail because you just do exactly what I'm doing. So that's done. We can check it. Uh, we're going to save that. Now, what I do find is, see here, the TCP port is exactly the same, 9600. I find that when you do that, come on, Ruta, what are you doing? Taking your time, aren't you? What I find is when it's exactly the same, it can cause issues when joining your own server from the same PC. But what we're going to do is we're going to do it anyway. Yeah, exactly how they say. And if it doesn't work, I'm going to show you how to fix it, which is what most of you have a problem with. This not working. So we've done that TCP just as it tells you there. I'm going to save that one. And we're going to want 8081 the HTT port. Now the HTT port is the same. It's a TCP, okay? Just so you know this. We're going to put that in. That in. Now that's exactly how they say to do it. So now that's done and applied. We're just going to put that over. We're good to go. Um, as for all this other stuff, the fuel rate, 100 is maximum fuel usage, yeah, uh, zero, where zero is none. So just, you know, adjust these accordingly, basically. Uh, what else have we got? Stability aid, we don't want that. Tire blankets, may as well have those. Virtual mirror, you can have that if you want it. Uh, ABS, TCS, leave it on factory. But as you know, the important stuff is the ports right now. You can do all this yourself. Dynamic track. Ooh, let's have it fast. Start value 98%, randomness 2, transfer group 80, leave that. Kick volume, 
we, what we want here is we want the kick to be quite low. So say about 40% users say kick, then the guy is out, yeah? Boat duration, leave that on say 10 seconds, give him time. Kick player, you can also set it to kick until restart and so on. Uh, now we're going to the session. We don't want booking, we want practice time 10 minutes, qualify 10 minutes. Can join in practice? Yes. Can join in qualifying? No. Uh, race open? No. We want it closed at the start of the race so no one can, you know, come out of the pits while you're on lap three and just destroy your race. Fuck that shit. We don't want it. Uh, base ambient temps. This all speaks for itself. Just do what you want there. Uh, tracks, we're going to pick a track somewhere. I don't have the Dream Pack 2 because my wheel's broke and I haven't played a set of course in a long time because of that. So we're just going to pick any track. Uh, clients allowed, now this is based on your upload speed. So here, approximate upload bandwidth required is 4.4 meg. So you know, if you want to host 26 players, make sure that you've got 4.5 meg upload. The best thing option to do for most people have around a meg. You know, average broadband. So do it about 15 players or even 12. All right, car entry list. This is simple. You just pick your cars. Um, let's go with. What should we have just for the demo? Let's go with the Nissan GT3, Mercedes GT3, uh, McLaren GT3. What was the other ones? Okay, we're just going to leave them for now. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, because I believe we'd pick 12, didn't we? So, tracks, cars, uh, advanced options, host, we don't need to touch this, we don't need to touch any of that, that's fine. So, let's go ahead and save it. Save server BRT Cobra, uh, start session. Now, here's the thing, if it doesn't start here, don't worry, because we'll try open it, because there's no info, so I'm just going to go ahead and think it started, yeah? But don't worry, because if it hasn't started there, we minimize it, and we'll launch this one. As you can see, it's come up OK across the board, which is a great start, but the issue is, can we join our own server? doing the exact same ports as what they tell you so let's find out if we can we're all good they may have updated it and no issue and then you're good to go let's just give it a minute I don't even think I've booted this up what we on 1.3.2 god damn it I need a wheel I missed this game but at least in the meantime until I can afford a new wheel I can help you guys out with this kind of stuff so let's go to main menu I can't remember how to do things here now. Online, click to agree. Uh, let's search BRT. As you can see, I've come up, but if there's no ping and you can't join your own server, it's a simple issue. It looks like it's all good actually, it looks like it's been fixed. So we'll join that, we'll go ahead and see if it works. There's no password required. And we should be at Silverstone. And all good to go. Honestly, it really is this simple. Yeah, if you still have issues, I mean, I, I don't know what else to say. You saw me do it exactly. Yeah, just simple. Do the port forwarding, set up the server. It really wasn't difficult at all. And it looks like, yep, there you go. Joined your own server. And obviously, I can't do that. Let's have a go on the keyboard. But yeah, that's it. It really is that simple. I hope this uh, helps you guys out. Uh, you saw me port forward. You saw me do the settings. What else is there? So bye for now and hope it works for you.